Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about the NAND gate circuit designing inside the Tinkercad. So for it, first of all, open your Tinkercad and enter, click create new circuit. After some moments, your main window will be open. And here first, we will search for the proper IC for NAND gate. So you must know that 74HC00 is the quad NAND gate IC package. Okay, uh, rotate it like that. Okay, also make it some bit zoom so that we can have a better look. Okay, after taking this IC package, you must know that this quad NAND gate IC is having four NAND gates and around eight inputs because every gate is having two inputs. Like here you can see that input 1A and input 1B are the inputs of the gate 1 and output 1 is the output of gate 1 and output input 2A and input 2B is the are the inputs for the gate 2 and output 2 is the output of gate 2 and so on like 3 and 4. Okay in order to see the output we will use a simple LED and we know that the standard voltages for the pinouts of the NAND gate IC are the 5 volt and our LED is not able to tolerate 5 volts so we use one resistor of 100 ohm as a current limiting resistor okay then this Resistor must be connected with the ground pin of the 74HC00. Then what about the anode of the LED? Anode of the LED must be connected with the output one of the quad NAND gate IC. And why it is so? Because our output will be shown on the output one. Okay, then battery, we will take our battery Okay, as we know that this is 9 volt battery and the operational voltage for the NAND gate IC is 5 volts. So we have to lower it down with the help of LM7805 5 volt voltage regulator it will just take 9 volts and will convert them into the 5 volts so output and input and ground are the three pins so we will connect the positive side of the battery with the input of the 5 volt voltage regulator then ground of the voltage regulator with the ground of the NAND gate IC and out of the voltage regulator with the power pin of the NAND gate IC okay so at input it is 9 volt and on output it is 5 volt also you need to connect the negative terminal of the battery with the ground of the voltage regulator okay now our power circuit is completed now we will take two dip switches Now we have two dip switches and what usually they do they are used for the input okay so you, you just need to do one thing and that is okay first we will make them aligned okay connect 1B and 1B 
with each other these two pins must be connected with each other and we will connect them with the 5 volts like just connect the one with the 5 volt and both will be get connected okay now they are connected with each other so it's okay okay then we will connect the dip switch 2 with the input 1b and 1a with the or the first dip switch with the input 1 so this one okay 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 now our circuit is now approximately completed yeah it is you can say it is fully completed now okay okay now uh, first uh, but you must know that what an AND gate is so an AND gate is just the inversion of AND gate like all the outputs are like AND gate and what about AND gate in AND gate all the outputs are zero except one one when there is input one one so output is one in case of NAND, in case of AND gate and just we will revert it out in the case of NAND like if it is 0 0 the output must be 1 if it is 0 1 the output must be 1 if it is 1 0 the output must be 1 and if it is 1 1 the output must be 0 like the inversion of AND gate so, so ok now we will uh, run it now we can see that our both the switches are at zero zero both are the low okay now we will make one high uh, the right side switch high so it is like uh, zero one and still it is one okay now we will make this low and the first high so it is one zero and still it is one and then we are going to make both one one and at one one it is off or at zero the LED is off means 0 and LED on means 1. So now we have verified our NAND gate logic. So hopefully you got the concept. Thanks for visiting our channel.